Okay, let's see what the Bills are going to do. Tampa and Jacksonville switch. I thought Jacksonville wanted to move down. Shoot, that means that Jacksonville's going to pick black men. So what are the... Okay. Dallas moved up to six. Dallas traded the Rams. Oh, my God. They're picking Mark Barron. Or, oh, my God, they're going with Morris Claiborne. The Bills are going to have some options. Shoot. Oh, there goes our chance at Keekly. Von Gilmore they might go with. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. They didn't take Floyd. Hey, Bills fans, it's JKM Man 99 here to review the first round of the 2012 NFL draft. So, a uh, quick review of the last two years. Um, two years ago, when uh, C.J. Spiller got picked, as you guys might remember, I was, like, not happy about it. Uh, last year, with Darius, I was pretty excited. I would say not crazy, you know, throw popcorn excited, but excited nonetheless. This year, we picked Stefan Gilmore, and my impression pretty much was, meh. I mean, I don't know how much more I can really react, and I do apologize that I'm not really going in a good way or a bad way. But I think in this unique situation, um, we have to look at the positive and the negatives of picking uh, someone like Stefan Gilmore. Um, let me just first say that this is a not a bad pick. We do need, we did address a need. We need help in the secondary. We need help in linebackers. We need help on the line. We need help on receivers. Those are our four primary needs, and we did address it. So, job well done on that point. I can't argue with that. However, I'm not sure it was the awesomest pick we could have done. However, the problem was it's kind of where we fell on the draft, and there's really not much we could have done unless we traded up. But there was so much stuff going on. I don't really see what the Bills could have done. Um, I mean, first off, obviously Andrew Luck would have been awesome, but he was sold a long time ago. RG3, I think, is going to be a bust, so I'm not even really worried about that. Um, McAlee, he was... Um, some report had him falling to us, and I started actually believing it, and that was a stupid idea because, of course, the Vikings apparently wanted him the whole time, even though in the past week it was all about Morris Claiborne, who, of course, went to... Um, Went to Dallas. Dallas trading up out of nowhere. You know, I'm just looking at the chair, and all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, where'd Dallas come from? It was nuts, and I was, like, cracking out of my mind there, because it was like, what's going on here? Like, who else is going to move out up? Um, and, you know, and then all the good picks left. Um, Blackman left. Geekly left. Um, like I said before, Morris Claiborne. And, and you know... All the good picks were gone, and and yeah, and I think the Keekly thing really killed us with the the Panthers, because like if 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 the Panthers pick which I thought they were gonna pick Fletcher Cox, then I think Keekly falls to the Bills, not not even a question. Um, you know, we we get Keekly, and I think that addresses more of a need than um, Stephon Gilmore does. But uh, so he goes. So then, of course, we pick up Stephon Gilmore. Now. The other point I was going to make on the on the negative side of the coin is that I actually had Dre Kirkpatrick higher than Stefan Gilmore in my mock. Now, I know a lot of reports recently had had um, Stefan Gilmore as the higher and better pick. I heard some speed issues with Kirkpatrick, things of that nature. They talked about it when the Bengals drafted him. But... I don't know. I think it was a pretty even match, and we will really see what happens. I mean, history will tell which corner is going to be the better one. Um, 
And but I think what this does on a positive note is, and I, and I'm and I, by the way I'm going to scatter. I'm going to not really lay all the positive, all the negatives. I'm just lots of stuff is coming to my head. Um, the positive is that we have six six uh, corners now. We have McGee, McKelvin, we have Florence, we have Justin the Terminator Rogers, we have Aaron Williams from just the second pick last year, second round pick, and now we have. Now we have Stephon Gilmore. So we're obviously going to take the best two out of the six, Gilmore being one of them. Um, I'm not sure what the other one's going to end up being. And obviously there's nickel packages and things of that nature. But um, nickel and dime. But um, but yeah, I think we're really weeding out the the negative players, which tells you that Buddy Nix is extremely committed to us stopping um, plays from being done in the secondary, because let's face it, last year, there were a lot of plays in the secondary where, you know, the third down, just throwing it down there, and, oh, hey, look at that, it was caught, how'd that happen, oh my god, I can't even tell you how annoying that got after a while, so, I, kudos to us trying to fix that, um, and I have no problem with that whatsoever, so, I mean, that's obviously a positive impact on this, I just... The one thing that bugged me was um, we had a few positions that just needed to be filled. Um, and the truth is, if we didn't fill corner this year, I don't think it's the end of the world if we hadn't touched corner. Um, however, um, offensive line, we did lose Demetrius Bell. Now, I, now there's been Chris Harrison being the starter or whatever. I still think we should have picked up another tackle. And we still have time, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and that was, I think, the problem. We just didn't have anyone at 10 to, to get in. Trading down just didn't seem like an awesome idea. Um, however, Floyd was right there, and we could have picked him up and thrown him in. I don't think Donald Jones is worth the second pick, or the second wide receiver position. And I would have easily loved an upgrade there, and I think that's an easy like need position to throw in there um that's the one thing I, I wish we would have ended up doing if i would have really had to go back and redo this i'd say that because then it fills a need and and we you know it kind of makes the defense feel better that we're not just pushing things you know but but well I mean, you know what i mean, I mean we, we still got six more rounds left here we got nine picks so we still have a lot of work to do um tomorrow i would see us i'd like to see us actually touch an offense though either um, the lineman or the um, or actually quarterback um, with lineman we could go um, Justin Martin wasn't picked up today Court Cordy Glenn wasn't picked up today we have some options there that we can touch um, with regard to quarterback Kirk Cousins would be great um, I saw him play when he was Michigan State and I really like seeing him perform and I think he'd be a really good backup for Ryan Fitzpatrick I'm not looking for a starting quarterback I'm looking for a backup quarterback for Ryan Fitzpatrick, one that I can feel comfortable in coming into a game in case Fitzpatrick does go down. Um, I'd be very happy with Cousins taking over, but like Tyler Thigpen really let me down. I thought he was gonna be able to pull that position off. He he didn't. Um, you know he got hit in the helmet with a football, and that pretty much that was it. So um, so you know it's though that's what I kind of see us doing in the second and third round tomorrow, and I'm sure the We'll get some good depth players in the between rounds four through seven because we do have seven picks there. So I see some good things happening. I just I hope we stick to need and not not waste our time picking like running backs and and stuff. Or if we do pick a running back, like at the very end, guys, don't don't do it like at third round or anything like that. Um, I mean, obviously stick to your best player available once you get to the later rounds, but but you know also be smart about what we need to do. Um, so Stefan Gilmore, um, we'll we'll see how how he plays out. I would have liked to, and this will be my last point. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more excitement from him when he got drafted. I mean, I know some people are very somber, and they and they keep their emotions inside w during the draft experience. Um, I think if the Bills ever won the Super Bowl, I think I don't think I'd go screaming like crazy. I think I'd pretty much keep it all like like in my core. You know what I mean? Like I think that's what I would do. But I don't. It just looked like he was, oh, oh my goodness. It reminded me, when I used to teach, it reminded me of sending kids to the principal's office, to be honest with you. <laughs> and it was like, 
Oh my goodness, like, it's, it looks like he just got sent to the, the, the office or something. And, I'm again, I'm hoping that's just me talking. It's based on something I'd seen before. Um, I'm hoping he's excited about, you know, coming to the Bills and making millions of dollars. Congratulations. Um, so, so yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that pans out. And I'm hoping um, he's more excited than I think he is. I'm actually going to the um, the Bills draft party at the Fieldhouse tomorrow. Um, somebody told me that the first round pick attends the draft, so maybe Gilmore will be there. I have no idea if that's true or not. But um, but overall, I mean, definitely solid. Not a bad pick, but we will we'll still see how it goes. And I'm hoping to, to maybe get some of the other needs taken care of in the later rounds. And I hope we draft smart. Um, if you guys have any comments, please, and even if you really don't, just leave some comments for me. Um, even if you disagree with me, I, I don't care. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, uh, what your impressions on the whole Stefan Gilmore thing is. And I know I kind of flip-flopped a little here, but um, I guess that's kind of my position. I'm just kind of like, yeah, that's some good, some bad, you know. There's not really a strong, wrong, strong point. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And um, that's all I have. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, enjoy the rest of the draft, and take care, Bells Nation.